whatever you want. Good morning, everybody. We are live on the campus of Boston University right here on Commonwealth Avenue in the Burke Club Room at Aganis Arena on the Patriot League Network and Stadium and BU TV 10 for exclusive coverage of Boston University women's basketball's announcement of their new head coach, 2004 BU grad Marissa Mosley. I'm joined by Greg Levinsky. My name is Nick McCool. Happy to have you aboard this morning. And Greg, I want to start with the tweet that you sent out last night, essentially saying that this is the best option that Boston University has. This is the best decision they could have made. Tell me a little bit more about that. I mean, Marissa Mosley can relate to these players on so many levels. She was a student athlete here. You know, she walked the long walk from West Campus to the College of Arts and Sciences and down to East Campus. You know, she knows this school, probably sharing a lot of different professors, you know, with these student athletes. And I think she can just bring so many different levels of relation to these student athletes and the BU community as a whole. You know, a lot of the coaches that are here were coaches when she was a student athlete here. I mean, of course, the conference changed, America East, the Patriot League, but other than that, a lot's the same, and I think that's really crucial. Well, that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about as well, because she is a Boston University grad, a fellow terrier for many of these students, 2004 graduate of the College of Arts and Sciences, just a little bit down the road. So tell me what advantage that may bring to coaching this team. I mean, like I said, you can relate to the kids a lot more, you know, when you have the same professors, you have the same dorm, same, you know, same everything, same dining hall, you know everything that's going on. I mean, of course, things change, obviously, over time, but other than that, I mean, she knows this campus better than, you know, a lot of other people that would come on as a coach, and I think that's really, really crucial in that she can relate to students, student athletes, coaches, parents, everybody, I mean, because she, she really knows what's going on here at BU, and I think that's a really huge advantage for her. Now, another one of the advantages that she has is that she's also a former player at Boston University, again, a two-year captain here at Boston University, and the third highest shot blocker with 114 block shots during her tenure here as a Terrier. So how does being a player, and even being a player at Boston University, contribute to some of the advantage that she may have? I mean, she knows the gym. I mean, that's the first thing, right? They play at Case Gym, and yeah. that hasn't changed. And she was a great defensive player, great post player. I mean, she won third team all-conference her junior year and led this team to their only NCAA tournament appearance thus far. So she knows how to win here, and I think that's that's a really great thing. You know, she was on the only team to get as far as, you know, what the goal is every year, and she's done a great job, you know, at UConn, you know, learning from Gino Oriyama, and now she can bring everything that she's learned right back here to campus where she started. Absolutely. Now, one of the things that... <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the things that we discussed before the broadcast was, as you, I think you put it, the many hats that she has worn. She's done scouting and recruiting. She's done digital media, which probably helped her out for her uh, time one year at ESPN when she was a, a creative uh, contributor. But tell me about the expectations you have from all of the different, you know, backgrounds that she has surrounding the sport of basketball. I mean, I think she'll be a great ambassador to the you know basketball community, BU basketball community, because, like you said, she's recruited, she's coached, you know, she's done a little bit of everything, you know, she's played obviously, and she's you know been at three different universities, not just Connecticut, you know, she was at Denver, she was at Minnesota, she's really done a little bit of everything. I think that's so great in that she can bring so many different things to the table. Now, in addition to that, we also have the uh, diversity in the community that she's been able to build. Uh, but right now, it looks like we are about to get started here with the press conference. Marissa Mosley about to be formally introduced as the head coach of BU Women's Basketball starting this upcoming season. We're going to go to our live coverage now, and we'll join you after the press conference. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. My name is Brian Kelly. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director for Communications here at BU. Thank you all very much for joining us today as we welcome back one of our own and start a new era of women's basketball. At this time, I'd like to welcome our Director of Athletics, Drew Maricello, to the podium. Uh, 
Thank you, Brian, and good morning to everybody. This is truly a watershed day for us. As one of our trustees put it yesterday, it's a, it's a great milestone for our university. I can tell you that I have received so many text messages and calls and emails. Uh, there's truly an air of excitement. This, this place is, uh, is buzzing. Most of the time, these press conferences are introductions or simple welcomes. And in this case, it's even more special because it's welcome home to Marissa Mosley. Before I proceed, there are a number of people who were involved in this entire process, and I would be remiss if I didn't thank them for their guidance, support, and their hard work. Bob Brown, Todd Clip, Sarah Brown, uh, Jenny Thigpen for holding things together in the interim, uh, the numerous members of our department who served on committees, Brittany Kane, Bethany Ellis, Dan Satter, they spent more hours sifting through recommendations and candidates and conducting multiple rounds of interviews uh, than anybody. And they also coordinated a lot of the logistics and details. And thanks, of course, to the members of our women's basketball team for their involvement and their very thoughtful opinions. I have said that I'm continually impressed with everything you do and with who you are as people. I'm not surprised, but I'm impressed. When this job opened in March, the first question that we got was, what's the candidate pool going to be like? And my response was, great. And they said, why? And I said, because I think it's a great job. But with candidate pools, you never really know how they're going to shape up. There are life circumstances and succession plans and counter offers and people's lives getting in the way. And you just don't know what your pool will look like. But this pool quickly shaped up to be an outstanding one. And we had formative and serious conversations with a number of qualified individuals. Uh, but one quickly rose to the top. As is the case with searches, you receive a number of calls from people that you didn't know that you knew. And there are a lot of different opinions. And one phone call stands out. Somebody called me, who I know and I respect, and they called and they recommended two candidates. And they went on and on about all their virtues and how they would fit and how we would love working with them. And they were good. They'd be great for our university. And I think I let them talk for seven minutes. I just sat and listened. And I said, OK, after you're done, I'm going to run a name by you. And I said, tell me about Marissa Mosley. And there was silence on the end of the phone. And they said, if you can get Marissa Mosley, disregard what I said about the other two candidates. <laughs> we certainly were attracted by the fact that she's been part of a legendary program on the staff of five national championships and four, excuse me, nine final fours. Uh, I think she's definitely benefited from her association and time with Gino Oriema, who, minus the great coaches at Boston University, uh, I consider to be the best coach in the country, and that's in any sport. I had a couple of conversations with Gino, and of all the things that he said, the thing that might have been the most telling was when he said, look, she just gets it. Appreciate the fact that Gino and Chris and Shay took the time to drive up here today and rearrange their, their schedules to be here. I think it says a lot about their program. I think it says a lot about Marissa and how much they support and care for her as a person. The more we got to know Marissa, the more the words of others rang true. She's genuine, she's caring, she's magnetic. Somebody that you'd clearly want to play for. And we get that feeling during this process. I asked her a question during the interview. And I said simply, and she knew this was coming, why do you want this job? But I added a caveat. You can't say it's because you're an alum. And she quickly wove a great, thoughtful, articulate answer. And I nodded my head. And then she finished her answer and she said, and I'm an alum. <laughs> we conduct annual exit surveys, as everybody does, of our student athletes. and. I go right to question 16, and that question is simply, would you do this again? Knowing what you know, knowing all your likes and dislikes, all your experiences, would you do this all over again? And I think the answers are uh, very revealing. I think it's also a, a quick way to determine and define success and failure. We like that question and answer so much that we incorporated it into our passage of who we are, which is our department's declaration of values. We succeed 
when our students would choose to be terriers again. This is the ultimate case of someone choosing to be a terrier again. Before we present the customary jersey, I will tell you that we were going to order one from Under Armour, and we decided to take one final look. Our equipment folks took one final look to see if there was a jersey lying around. There was one jersey left. It happened to be number 12, which was Marissa's number when she played here. I think that that is clearly symbolic that this was meant to be. It is my pleasure to introduce a two-time captain, member of our only women's basketball team for now that's appeared in the NCAA tournament, 2004 graduate, College of Arts and Sciences, the eighth coach in program history, a terrier, Marissa Mosley. Um, I'm very excited and humbled to be back at Boston University as the next women's basketball coach. Um, my coaching journey has taken me to some wonderful places. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with incredible players, but even better people. I have also been fortunate to learn from some of the greatest minds in the business. For the last nine years, I had a front row seat in one of the best classes a coach could ever dream of. And I know I would not be standing here without the guidance and development of Gina Ariema, Chris Daly, Shay Ralph, and my entire Yukon family. I'm really happy that you guys are here with me today. They inspired me every day to be the best version of myself and pushed me to never be satisfied with just good enough. Coach Ariema has a saying at Yukon that we always chase perfection and in the process we catch excellence. Each day I strive to live by that motto and it is a big reason why I'm standing here before you today. I would also like to thank President Brown, Drew Marichello, Dan Satter, Bethany Ellis, um, and the entire BU Athletic Dire Department for welcoming me back with open arms. I know you guys put a lot of work into today and this whole process and um, I'm very appreciative. Um, in life, one gets very few chances to come home again. And I'm so happy that I have the opportunity to come home again to Boston University. I would also like to thank my parents and my entire family who are watching on live stream. Shout out to shout out. Um, you have no idea how much your love and support means to me. You have been my consummate cheerleaders since the first day I stepped onto the basketball court. And I could not have done any of this without you. Thanks. Um, and now to my players. It's kind of weird to say, but exciting. Um, I'm so glad that you're able to be here today. I am thrilled to be your coach, as I told you yesterday in the locker room. Um, I cannot wait for us to get to know each other better, um, for us to grow together in this journey. Um, I promise you that I have you guys back, and we're going to be in this together. Um, we have so many wonderful times ahead of us, and I appreciate you trusting me with this great responsibility. I have walked these streets. I have ridden the tea. I have studied on BU Beach. Um, and I've eaten at T. Anthony's. I'm a terrier just like you. These were the best four years of my life, and I cannot wait to walk with you through this journey and help you reach your dreams and celebrate your successes. Thank you so much. Thanks, Marissa. At this time, we'll take some questions from the media. Uh, just raise your hand, state your name and affiliation. Hello, my name is Andrew from WTV. I'm just curious, how much do you think your time at UConn prepared you to take this job? Hi, Andrew. Um, 
I think my time at UConn was uh, the best preparation I could have had. I think, you know, Coach Arama gave us a lot of autonomy there to grow in every aspect of the job, and I was able to kind of um, get a hand in everything from marketing to um, video to diversity um, councils um, on campus. And so I was really given an unbelievable opportunity there. And being there nine years, you get um, a lot of experience, a lot of exposure to media. So. I know how to talk to you, um, but no. So it's been it's been a great a great kind of stepping stone and preparation. And I, I know that I would not be ready for this without those nine years. I'm Liam also from WTVU. Okay. So what did you tell the team yesterday? When you spoke? Liam, that's classified. So no. Um, <laughs> I just I told them that um, I really wanted uh, the opportunity to grow with them. I, my door was open. I wanted to have a great relationship with them. That um, you know, I think that we have the opportunity to win this league um, every year. No pressure, um, but I think that you know we have a championship university, and um, they're on board too. They're excited about it, and we just can't wait to get started. Yes. Okay. Thank you. No, my first challenge and focus will be my team here, and I want to make sure that I get to know them um, and that you know this is who we have right now. So this will be my focus first, and then obviously recruiting is the the second piece of that. But um, this is our team this year, and we're and we're going to be um, working together. We're we're going to take on this challenge together, and then from there, obviously every year you have to bring in other players. But um, this weekend is a recruiting weekend. They know that. But I'm going to be back here next week, and we're going to get in the gym and, and get after it. Yeah, um, you know, the culture is the biggest piece, I think, to this whole process. Um, fortunately, I'm walking into a situation where they already have a great culture here. They are a very tight-knit group. I can't tell you how many people I've heard um, say that, we love this this group. They're a great group of girls. You're going to love coaching them. So um, we talked about no drama. So they, they were good with that. Um, but I think it's just going to be you know unselfish players who are committed to one goal. Um, we're all going to work hard. We're going to compete at a very high level on and off the court. And um, we're going to have a lot of fun while we're doing it. So I mean, I can get more of the nitty gritties offline with you. Thank you. My question is, you've done a lot of work with community building and the affiliated work with. So tell me, do you plan to continue that work here, and if so, how? Absolutely. I think that's a huge part. I mean, you know, as a, a university, um, college kids, we're, the community is a huge part of our supporters. Um, hopefully people get excited about what we're doing here and want to get involved, but I think that we have to pay it forward um, and the opportunities that they get being on scholarship at an incredible place, um, I think that's just an obligation that we should have. So I definitely intend to not only on the campus community, but also um, in the greater BU community and Boston community, I want to get us involved and out there and um, give back. Yes, you never told me your name. Rich, got it. Can you tell us about your interests off the court and outside of basketball, a little bit about yourself in terms of like your hobbies or your outside interests? Obviously, you mentioned sociology. I know I don't know if that is. I'm doing some research on the side. Not, not <laughs> happening. Um, well, I like long walks on the beach. Um, no, I am. Um, I, I'm very family oriented, so um, as my coworkers know, they've heard gazillion stories about my nieces and nephew, and they will continue to hear that, even though I don't work with them. Um, but I, I'm very family oriented. I love to travel. Um, I just went to Morocco last year, and so I think traveling internationally is kind of cool to see a, a totally different way that people live. Um, and we went on a foreign tour with my chief, with my team at UConn last year to Italy, so I've gotten to do quite a bit of traveling. Um, and I like to read, um, and I love movies, <laughs> and also the beach. <laughs> Great, thanks. If uh, any other questions for Marissa or Drew, they'll be available over here afterwards. Uh, anything else you'd like to close with? I just want to thank you all for coming today. This is like. 
I, I told uh, my boyfriend last night that I didn't need a lot of the pomp and circumstance. <laughs> this is like pomp and circumstance, but, um, but I really, really appreciate you all taking the time um, out to support me. Um, I'm excited to work with my fellow coaches in the athletic department. Um, I love how tight-knit you are. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the staff appreciation tonight, but I'm going to be at the next one. Um, but I really appreciate you guys being here, and I uh, can't wait to get started. And that was our first look at new head coach of the Boston University women's basketball team, Marissa Mosley, as we mentioned, a Boston University grad and now the head coach. And Greg, what are your first impressions? I mean, I think, you know, it seems great. I mean, very charismatic, seems very caring. And she has she wants to work on the culture that's already been established here. And I think that's really crucial and that she understands that she's inheriting a team that has been a team before and she wants to make them even better. Absolutely. And we want to remind our viewers that you can get your season tickets to all Boston University games at GoTerriers.com. That will do it for us here at, in the Burke Club Room at Aganis Arena on the campus of Boston University. Alongside Greg Levinsky, I am Nick McCool. Thank you for joining us here on the Patriot League Network on Stadium for all of our BU TV 10 production crew. And Greg Levinsky, as I said, I'm Nick McCool. So long from Boston University.